Hello, welcome back to DIY Astronomy. My name's Chris and today I thought I'd show you how to stack comets in Deep Sky Stacker. A few nights ago I took this picture of Comet Nearwise showing its ion tail and its dust tail and I was a bit daunted about processing it but it turns out it's not too difficult so I just thought I'd share that with you. So first of all what we do is we click on Deep Sky Stacker I'm assuming you've downloaded it, it's free to download. Then we go top left, open picture files. Now I'm not going to stack 60 frames like I did last time. I'll just literally pick three. Because this is just to give you the idea of the process. So we'll open those. So these are unchecked at the moment, which means that none of them are going to get used for anything. So we want to hit check all to show that we're going to use all those. Then register checked pictures. At this point, we only want to register them. We don't want to stack them after registering. So we untick where it says stack after registering. I've already done that. And we'll let it do its thing for a moment. It may take a little while because I'm using a Ryzen 3 laptop with four gigs of RAM. So your computer may be a bit quicker than this, but I'll speed things up if I need to. There we go, that is done. So the next thing we want to do is click on the top picture. Just there. And that brings up that picture in this window. We've got a menu to the right. We want the green comet, that's comet mode. Click on that. As you can see, it's already got a pink circle around the nucleus. That's because I've been through this process already. But basically what you'll have is this green circle you want to roll in with your middle mouse button to zoom right in on that comet nucleus. Not too far, just roll that again. That will do. And then press shift and then click in the middle of that box. Like that. So we've now got that pink circle on the nucleus of the comet or the coma of the comet, I should say. At that point, it will ask you whether you want to save that or not, and then you can just click Save All, and then it will automatically save every time you do this process. So if I click on the next one down, and as you can see, I've been through the process with that one, but you basically click on Comet, scroll in, I can control it, and then shift and then click in the middle. Probably being a bit fussy with it. There we go. So once you've done that to all three, what you need to do is go to stack checked pictures, stacking parameters, bottom left, comet, second tab along, and you get three options. You can either just stack the stars, just stack the comet or stack both the stars and comet, which takes twice as long, but I'm sure you'll agree that's probably worth it. So that's the one I pick and we, we hit OK. And I'm just going to use the standard recommended settings. So click OK again. And we'll let the Ryzen 3 processor do its thing once more. And I'll speed things up if I need to. Okay, here we go. Now it's uh, stacking those pictures and as you can see, it's all white and that might be quite alarming if you've never used Deep Sky Stacker before, but it's perfectly normal for Deep Sky Stacker. It just doesn't do anything proper with the levels of your image when it first appears on the screen. If you look down here, you can see all the color channels are to the right away from the curve. So what we can do at this point is all the information's there so you can just go and hit save picture to file and save it as a TIFF and open it up in whatever image manipulation program you want whether that be Photoshop, Affinity, anything you want really and 
If you want a preview though in Deep Sky Stack of what it's roughly going to look like, we can just quickly align these channels, bring them to the left using that slider. Overlap the colours as best we can. Go to the Luminous tab and we can play with the curve now. This slider here is kind of the one that does the stretching really. We'll go to about seven on that. And saturation, well up to about 20 and hit apply. And we'll get a bit of a preview, a very monochromatic preview of what things will look like, but even so, you'll get the idea if you just want to see what the comet looks like in Deep Sky Stacker. That's kind of how to do that. But as said, all the information's there to play with in other programs. So hit save, picture fire to and save it as the TIFF. Then move on to whatever you want and process it in Lightroom, Photoshop, Affinity, GIMP. I use GIMP. That's really good because that's free. And away you go. You've got a stacked image of a comet. As you can see on this one, we've both got the ion tail and the dust tail. So pretty pleased about that. Okay, so if you found that useful, consider giving me a like and if you want to support the channel and enjoy the content, please feel, feel free to follow along and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified of any further videos that I do. I tend to do about one a week, so hopefully I'll see you on the next video.